If you're grappling with the decision between the MacBook Pro M2 Max and the MacBook Air M3, this video is tailored for you. Both of these laptops bring powerful performance and sleek designs, but which one is the best choice for your needs? We'll dive into the key features, performance, and real-world usage scenarios for each model. Stick around until the end where I'll reveal which laptop stands out as the clear winner. Don't make a decision until you've watched the whole comparison. Ever since Apple shifted to in-house silicon and renewed its focus on laptop hardware, even a Windows and Android user like myself has fully succumbed to the Pro line supremacy. The 16-inch MacBook Pro with M2 Max is arguably the most performant laptop on the market, boasting brilliant side speakers, faster and more capable connectivity than the M1 models, and reliable battery life with fast charging. However, it's not without its downsides. Non-power users may not need such a powerful laptop, and the device is noticeably heavy. Additionally, the large notch on the screen offers no added functionality, which can be frustrating. To avoid a lengthy essay on how well this laptop handles everyday tasks, I enlisted Tom Phillip, a producer and editor for the Sports Network Overtime, to evaluate its performance with professional content creation. Phillip's workflow includes editing approximately four terabytes of footage for videos. With the M2 Max MacBook, his processes remained the same, but real-time rendering and exporting were noticeably faster. In export trials, the M2 Max model consistently outpaced Philips M1 Max by 20 to 30 seconds, offering significant time savings when meeting tight deadlines. The new MacBook Pro retains much of the 2021 model's design, including a sturdy aluminum chassis, a 1080p FaceTime camera, a finger grease prone keyboard, and excellent side firing speakers. Key changes include upgrades to the processor, connectivity, and battery life. The new M2 Max chip features a 12-core CPU and a 38-core GPU and can support up to 96 GB of RAM and 8 TB of storage. These enhancements contribute to the laptop's increased performance and efficiency. The connectivity enhancements encompass Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and HDMI 2.1. The improved Wi-Fi is particularly beneficial in crowded environments, while the more stable Bluetooth and versatile HDMI offer added convenience. The battery life has also been improved with the M2 Max model delivering up to 22 hours of movie playback. Despite its impressive performance, the MacBook Pro's hefty size and boxy design make it cumbersome to carry around. For those who don't require a maxed out workstation, the 14 inch model might be a better option, offering similar performance in a more travel friendly size. Another point of contention is the large notch on the screen, which lacks added functionality such as facial recognition or a sharper camera sensor. As a digital nomad, I've relied on a 16-inch MacBook Pro for the past five years. It's a powerhouse perfect for writing, photo editing, and video production on the go. However, its weight has always been a burden, especially when navigating public transport and walking around town I thought I needed the Pro's power and found 13-inch screens too small for my work. Testing the new 15-inch MacBook Air with the M3 chip completely shifted my perspective. It's lighter, thinner, and has a large enough screen for my needs. The M3 chip, while not as powerful as the Pro, handles my video editing tasks well enough. Video export times are longer and I occasionally see the spinning wheel when switching apps, but it's a fair trade-off for portability. This laptop is one of the best mainstream options available. The M3 MacBook Air comes in two sizes. The 13-inch model starts at $1,099 and the 15-inch at $1,299. Both base models have 8 GB of unified memory and 256 GB of storage, but upgrades are recommended. The 15-inch model I evaluated comes with 16 GB of memory and 512 GB of storage, priced at $1,699. The hardware is nearly identical to the M2 models featuring a 15.3-inch liquid retina display with a 1080p webcam, two USB-C ports, a headphone jack, and MagSafe charging. The display is bright and clear, although not as advanced as the MacBook Pro's mini-LED or some Windows laptop's OLED screens. It's perfect for productivity tasks, but less so for movie watching due to slightly thicker bezels and less deep blacks. At 3.3 pounds and 0.45 inches thick, it's notably lighter and slimmer than the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which weighs 4.8 pounds and measures 0.6 inches thick. The reduction in weight is noticeable when carrying a full bag of gear. The keyboard and trackpad are excellent, 
with a responsive fingerprint scanner and function keys. The M3 chip built on 3 nanometer architecture offers a 20% performance boost over the M2. While it's not a significant upgrade for M2 users, it's a noticeable improvement from the M1 and Intel powered MacBooks. The 15 inch model also has two extra GPU cores enhancing performance. The six speaker system is impressive and the 1080p webcam is adequate. The laptop runs macOS Sonoma 14.4, which integrates seamlessly with iOS and iPad OS, offering new emojis and podcast features. The MacBook Pro M2 Max is a powerful machine ideal for professional content creators who need the fastest performance possible. However, it's bulky and expensive. The MacBook Air M3 is lighter, thinner, and more affordable, making it a great choice for most users. While not quite as powerful as the M2 Max, the M3 chip offers excellent performance for everyday tasks and video editing. Overall, the MacBook Air M3 emerges as the preferable choice for most users, thanks to its portability and affordability.